This video is a little different than some of my other videos and one of my more challenging projects to date. So when we came to Spain, I thought that it would be pretty difficult to meet people in a pandemic, but I thought it could be done uh, safely if taken, taking the necessary precautions. So um, I belong to a couple of Facebook groups and I identified somebody that I wanted to meet. He was a Colombian who has lived in Girona for six, uh, five years. And I'm just curious to know why people from other countries choose to live in Girona specifically. I reached out to him, he graciously accepted, and I thought that we'd just meet for a 30 minute coffee and I'd interview him and that would be that. He had different ideas. So Camilo is a um, PhD student in cultural tourism at the university. So he had uh, set up a like personalized tour for me. I couldn't believe it. And he is a wealth of knowledge uh, about Girona and he is very, very passionate about Girona. He really loves living here. Anyway, fun fact is that, fun for you, not for me, is that I had met with him. He had taken me around for about an hour and I got you know, a great hour's worth of footage. I came back home, I uploaded it to my external drive, and then I deleted it from my camera. And you, you can see where this is going, right? So I closed my computer to go work on it later. Next time I went to work on it, it was gone. It was gone from my camera, because I obviously deleted it from my camera, and it was gone from my computer. And I was so devastated. I was embarrassed. I was infuriated at technology. And I, I just didn't know what to do. So I told Camilo, didn't expect anything from him. I just told him. And he's like, no problem. You know, we can do it again. And I was stunned, you know. And he, it was even better the second time. And he brought two friends, both PhD students from the university. I was feeling like the real odd person out. <laughs> but they were all really kind and so educated. And we had a wonderful time. And so I just wanted to share a little bit of his tour with you. I remember, yes, uh, speaking with some people in the, the countryside. They really didn't have any more um, objectives than to be happy, to grow their plants and, you know, to eat from them. And the beginning of the week, and it happened, no? Not now, because it, things have changed, but it happened that uh, on the Monday they will come as far, no? To ask for money. And on Tuesday they will come the army to ask for milk. And on Thursday they will come the paramilitares to ask for the children, to train them. So, it is just, you know, we, I can say, no, as a Colombian, we really don't, I don't feel like that violence belongs to me. But we were in the middle of that and, and we learned how to, to forgive, to survive, to grow in despite of. Right now we cannot change provinces. There are four provinces in Catalonia, which is Girona, Barcelona, Tarragona, and Lleida. You see that Barcelona, Tarragona, and Girona, they have the same capital, the same name. It ends in Ona. Ona means the city of. Barcelona is the city of Barcino. Girona is the city of Querunta and Tarragona is the city of Tarraco. Ah. See, most of these cities, they were born when the Phoenicians came across the sea, and they started to build like settlements um, around uh, either ports or uh, rivers that uh, stream out into the sea. But the thing is that Girona, for a lot of people, was a city to pass by. It was not very attractive. 
you have Ampurias, no, in La Scala. Mm -hmm. Big, you know, fancy with a lot of merchants and spices and wine. And here you have, you know, the stable, the silence, the valley, the cold. Mm -hmm. That is the strength of Girona. That is the strength, having been unnoticed. Because you see Tarraco, Tarragona, it has a rise and a fall. It was a great port. It even had um, the gladiator fight, everything. And then it fell. It was a consequence of the fall of the Roman Empire. And it was not militarily very strong because it was open to commerce. So they commerce a lot. People know a lot about the routes, but they were, you know, vulnerable. So this is why. Right now they are quite strong as well because the Spanish government for several years they have invested on the port. Yeah. Mostly they bring uh, petrol, but if you ever want to buy shoes, uh, you can go to Tarragona. <laughs> they, they are very cheap there. I can tell you that because they, they go from the port. It's also a beautiful city to visit uh, their, um, all the ruins, the, the remains. Yeah. There we have the Eiffel Bridge, which was uh, created by the company of Gustave Eiffel. Okay. So there are not so many structures like that in Spain. There is one in Portugalete, in the Basque Country, a much more complex one. This is uh, much simpler. But it is part of the, of the landscape, let's say, of the urban landscape of the city, and it's quite nice. Here in Girona, you know, as I told you before, they are like conservative, like calm. So they wanted the simple, the, you know, the calm colors, the details, more oriented to what ended up later being Bauhaus. Like very, very simple and very, very sober. So this is why even if we have a monumental church and it's Baroque and style, it is not uh, very bright or very um, uh, colorful. It is, you know, calm. It is peaceful. So that's peaceful Girona. <laughs>